YouTube, what's going on? And welcome to the 56th episode of my Android -like career mode. In this episode, we are going to be playing four games, all in the Barker Leagues Premier League. And we start off with a game against Everton to start off this episode. So we are going away to Goodison Park. And the squad I'm rocking with is Barkan, Pozo, Amini, Faker, Bentaleb, Yedlin, Adriano, Liam Moore, Van Beek, Byram, and Zeller in goal. So here we go into this game. It's Ross Barkley on the ball right here. Plays off to Kulabi. Kulabi on the ball right now has this shot, but it is actually offsides as the Everton player did intercept that, but here comes Adriano right now. He has a throw. He gives off to Mustafa Amini. Amini is going down the wing. He goes around Seamus Coleman. Amini still running down the wing. Here comes Amini. He ball rolls. He whips in the cross. It's going to be Jose. Jose, 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 Bozo. He buries the shot into the back of the net. A very easy tap in for our young Spanish striker as he makes it one nothing Anderlecht over Everton. So a fantastic start to this game against Everton, but that would be the end of the first half. So a very solid first half for our team, and hopefully we will be doing more of the same in the second half and getting three points against Everton. But here comes Everton on the attack. It's Ain McGeady. Gives off to Ross Barkley. Barkley on the ball. Gives it off to Kulabi. Kulabi inside to McGeady. McGeady goes around. Has the shot. Gets saved. But Barkley is right there for the rebound header. Ross Barkley scoring in this game as he has been scoring a, a lot in your IRL right now. Playing very well. But here comes Mustafa Amini on the attack. Looking to take the lead again. Amini going down. The Australian has the shot. But Phil Jagielka makes the block and they clear. And now here comes James McCarthy. Gives off to Shane Long. Long inside to Ross Barkley. Barkley outside to Kevin. And Morales, who has the shot, and he puts it into the back of the net to give Everton a very crucial win, as somehow they are fighting relegation battle right now, as they get a very crucial win over us, as Kevin Morales gives them the win right there. But now we go into a game against Swansea City, a very crucial game, as we really cannot afford to drop any more points, really, this episode. So here we go in this game. It's going to be Swansea on the attack. Taylor whips in the cross. It's going to be far corner as nobody wins the header and it falls to Angel Rangel. Rangel passes it offside to Kinsu Young. Gives it off to Goofy Sigurdsson who strikes it. And oh, it's a wonder goal by Goofy Sigurdsson. The Icelandic international makes it Swansea City 1. Anderlecht 0 as he has a strike from just outside the box and it was a stunner. But now here, Paul, here's Paul Pogba, our French midfielder, running down the wing. He goes past Angel Rangel. He's still running. Has the shot. Oh, Paul Pogba. Pogba gets back in the goals. He had like a four-game drought, I believe, but now he's back in the goals. His 14th league goal right here, which is league best, and our French midfielder just continues to score goals for us, and now... Here comes Swansea City, but it's intercepted by Neville Bentaleb. Bentaleb dribbling. He plays the lap through ball to Vieto. Vieto, he gets it. Has the shot. Oh, it's off the post. Vieto really has to be scoring that if he is going to be continuing to be our starting striker. But now here's Sam Byram running down the wing. Byram's still going. He goes around Taylor. Byram has the triple tap cross to Paul Pogba. And Pogba gets a first half brace. And this is definitely good for Anderlecht as Paul Pogba is making a resurgence right now. Having a fantastic first half half so far, scoring two goals and playing well overall as this was definitely needed and that would be the end of the first half so a very solid lead at the end of the first half and if we keep this victory I would be very pleased with the result but now here comes Swansea it's John Joe Selby into Montero Montero outside to Kim Suk Young Kim Suk Young on the ball right now, plays a back heel and then Nathan Dyer and his shot is saved by Zeller so a very solid save by Zeller but now here comes Swansea on the attack again, it's going to be Sigurdsson Sigurdsson inside to Kim Suk Young, plays the through ball to Nico Lopez whose shot just goes wide of the post. A very good chance for the team from Wales to take a surprise tie against Andrew Lex. So here we go and that would be the end of the game. So a very solid victory over Swansea City. I was very pleased with three points and now we need another three points in the game against Norwich City if we are going to stay in the top four battle. As you can see the lineup right there is full strength right here with all the injuries we have. So here comes Alexander Mitrovic on the attack right now. He's around on the wing. He ball rolls around one. Here comes Mitrovic. Triple down across the Pogba but he can't finish it. And now we have a short corner. It's Amini inside the Sula who gives up to Nebel Bentaleb. Bentaleb goes around, has the finesse shot, and Nebel Bentaleb, our strong Algerian CDM, scores a rare goal for us and makes it Andrelicht 1, Norwich City 0. So he takes the ball from just outside the box and then takes one touch, finesses it in. Great goal. And now here comes Andrelicht looking to make it 2 0. It's Vieto through to Mitrovic. Mitrovic ran all the way. It's Alexander Mitrovic shot saved, but it's going to fall in. And oh, actually, very unlucky for the Norwich. 
Dodge City goalkeeper Bun. It's actually given as an own goal, as I thought Alexander Mitrovic was going through on goal. He has the shot, and our Serbian striker looks like he's going to bury it, but it was saved, but it still fell in, so very unfortunate to be given the own goal. But now here comes Mustafa Amini on the attack. It's Amini. He's running down the wing. Here he goes. He's going to stop. He's going to turn. He plays a pass to Dimitrovic, who was looking for his second goal of the game, but unfortunately it was saved by Bun, so making up for his technically own goal right there, and that would be the end of the first half. But now here comes Norwich on the attack. It's Hooper on the ball. Gives it up to Johnson. Back to Hooper, who has the shot. It's saved by Zeller, and it goes to Bennett, who has the shot, and it's outside. But, oh, no, it's a penalty for Norwich. Very controversial call right here. Norwich step up to take the penalty, and he buries it. I believe it was Gary Hooper. Yes, it was Gary Hooper burying the penalty right there to make it Norwich City 1 and Anderlecht 2. So a very crucial goal for, goal for Norwich right now, making this game very interesting right now. But now here comes Paul Pogba. It gives it off to Vieta. Vieta running the 1-2 with Paul Pogba. Pogba ran down the wing. He's still running down the wing. He's beating everyone. Ronaldo chops around, has the shot. Oh, that would have been a brilliant goal. The Ronaldo chop throws all the center backs, but he couldn't bury it. But that would actually be the end of the game. So a very solid win against Norwich City, 2-1, to one, just like the last game against Swansea, and I'll keep taking 2-1 to one wins because, I mean, wins are wins because I'll take the three points any way I can get them. But we actually see that two teams are interested in Adriano as he is somehow leading the league in assists at the age of 33. We signed him on a pre-contract, so I'm very happy with giving up $1.7 million for him, and the clubs would accept $1.7 million for him. So... That's pretty good. I can get a loaned out left back for a little bit because our starting left back, Ben Davies, has been hurt for a while and I've been having to play Nathan Ake. But here we go into a game against Aston Villa right here. And Villa have a corner early in the 13th minute. It's going to be Andy Najardo up in the corner. It goes. It's head down for Benzler, but it falls to Westwood who gets off the clock. Who shot rattles the crossbar and we would eventually clear. But now Benzler on the ball right now. He gives it outside to Pogba. Pogba goes around. He stops. He turns around the Aston Villa defender. Here comes Paul Pogba going all the way. Has to shot but it's off the post as well. So both teams taking the post early. So both sides very looking strong to score a goal early as Sam Byram gets taken out right there and he would get hurt. So very unfortunate to get hurt for our young English right back. So Cavandro would have to sub in so our Belgian right back will be coming into this game. But that would be the end of the first half. So now that would actually be the end of the game as it was a very boring game right there just no teams able to create any goals from each other and the defense was very solid but that will wrap it up for this episode of the Andrew Lick Career Mode if you enjoyed make sure to leave a like and also subscribe for more Andrew Lick Career Mode and FIFA Ultimate Team videos